And if you want to make changes in your life, uh, for example, you're unhappy with your job, or you're unhappy with what you're doing, or even whatever it is, you're unhappy where you are in life, then it's time to start a revolution. Mm. But it's not so easy, is it? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Bartosz Explorers. I made it to France, and I've decided to join the uh, French army after three days in France. <laughs> Viva la revolution! I used to make fun of uh, France a lot because you have all these like people going to France, you know, saying, "Oh, I've been to Paris, drinking wine and eating cheese," and then there I go eating blue cheese myself. Hmm? In addition to moldy cheese, did I mention moldy sausage? And since there's an actual name of the village called Bio Croissant, meaning beautiful croissant, obviously you can't go to France without eating at least one croissant. This is called Chausson Paul, it's like uh -huh. apple. This is called Croissant, with a And this is Croissant, with a chocolate inside. Uh -huh. This is Le Baguette. Le Baguette, the most famous. And of course, whenever in Europe, you've got to do the whole church thing, you know, which, like, I can't believe I did that. I'm used to very flat, farmy kind of landscape. I'm starting to become a little bit jealous. It's French people, you guys have way too many castles, I swear to God. Like, do, 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 do. There are just so many cute towns that could easily be put in, like the Lord of the Rings or The Witcher. What boggles my mind is that for people living here in France, like this is just normal. Like they're so used to it. Like for me, it's just like everywhere I look, like wow, like this is gorgeous. Uh, but a French person's like, eh, it's normal. I'm gonna paint you like one of my French girls. <laughs> <laughs> right in this spot. I can't believe people live here. Like, there's just grapes, like, just chilling at someone's house. I feel like it's not fair. <laughs> I feel, I'm offended. <laughs> God, even the dogs here are romantic. Look at this. Singing a love song. When I was on the train over here, I was kind of freaking out because I left everything in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, it's so easy when you begin anything new especially like a journey, uh, it's so easy to doubt yourself. But the truth is, is any decision that you make, you're going to have that. If, you, if I would had decided to stay home, I would have been thinking in my head, shoot, maybe I should have left. You know, maybe, maybe it would have been better to leave. And I would be doubting myself either way. And the thing is, is and my grandma actually used to tell me that... Whenever you make a decision, think about it. But once you make that decision, once you make the choice, just go forward and don't ever, ever look back. And if you want to make changes in your life, uh, for example, you're unhappy with your job or you're unhappy with what you're doing or even whatever it is, you're unhappy where you are in life, you know, you have to make a change. And if you don't change your environment, it's really tough because it's so easy to fall back on those old habits. The people that you're around, you know, if you don't change the people you're around, uh, you don't incorporate more risers or more people that inspire you. Um, you know, if you have a bunch of friends that, you know, they've been doing the same thing their whole life. I mean, this can bring you down if you're trying to make a big jump. And in your hometown, that's often the case. That's often what happens. Contrary to uh, my fears and my anxieties that I had, uh, right before I came here, everything turned out to be completely fine, completely okay, and I'm so happy I did this. And I hope that if your fear is blocking you from trying something crazy or epic, your dreams are on the other side of that door of fear. So open that door and go through that fear, and literally everything you ever want is on the other side. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Just look in my eyes and you will see French paradise. <laughs>